Hi, so in this video, we're going to discuss trim automation. Trim automation is a functionality that you'll find in Pro Tools HD and Pro Tools Ultimate. Now I got the session here. I do have permission to play it, but the two track is a commercial song. I don't want copyright police after me. So what is trim automation? Well, let me show you guys. So over here, I have some automation and let me make this a little bigger. That way you can see this a lot better. So let's say I did this last night and I'm revisiting the session now. I like my automation, but I think it's a little too low and I want to bring it up a couple of dBs or it's a little too loud and I want to bring it down a couple of dBs. I can do that without affecting my current automation. But if we don't have trim automation, we have a couple of options. Option one, arm the track, redo the automation. Option two, highlight, bring it up, bring it down. But it's not what I'm going for. Now, another option you have, create an aux track, send to that aux, and write the automation on that aux. And that's exactly what I've done. So over here, I got a lead track, and I'm gonna just randomly highlight. Okay, so let's make that a little bigger. We can do something like this. We can do that. And if we wanted to, we can open the track, we can arm, go to touch, and we can write some automation. So if we scroll down and we look at the original automation, it's still there. And now we have automation on that aux. My original automation, it just sounds great. I like the feel. I don't want to change that. So by doing it this way, I can make those adjustments and keep that original feel. Now we can use a trim plugin. This works as well. You can bring it up a few dB. You can bring it down a few dB. All up to you. Or you can just write some automation. Enable for automation, arm the track, and do your automation. Now the problem with this, if you have any plugins in your aux track, you're either going to hit those plugins harder, or you're not going to hit them as hard. So your sound might change. So that's something you have to consider. So just in case you're wondering, could we do the same thing with VCAs? You actually can, but it's a little more complicated. So if we scroll all the way up over here, I have a VCA track. And you know what? Let me just randomly select this. And I already have track arm for automation. So if we scroll down to my V1, which is the lead vocal, you can actually see the automation we wrote. Check that out. Pretty cool. But if we open the fader here, it's actually going to follow that VCA. So that's something we definitely don't want at the moment. And VCAs are great. And there's a lot of stuff we can do with that. And I'm going to make a video on that soon. So I really want to thank you for watching my video. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later.